Out of Pants Meow, and this is my boyfriend, Chris. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're actually going to be doing our Halloween terrarium building episode. So basically, this is going to be a competition. Will it really be a competition, though? Will it, though? Will it? Let's <laughs> see. Yeah. So my terrarium, I have nicknamed Death Valley. And my terrarium will be called The Ruins. So the first step we're going to take is just to put about an inch and a half of gravel at the bottom of our terrariums. And this is good for drainage. That's right. <laughs> Here's Nina. So she's going to be our little Halloween princess, as you can see. She's so cute. She gonna sit here and build our terrarium with us. Now, neither of us have ever made a terrarium, is that right? <laughs> that is correct. This is our first terrarium for both of us. Yeah. Do you want to take the whole boy? I do. You take the whole bowl too. I don't need the whole bowl because I'm able to do this without, you know, Fine. sacrificing my partner's needs. Wow, that was a low. That was kind of low. Nina, no eating soil. I'm concerned about uh, spilling it on Nina. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Fine. I knew that it had to be something like that. Yeah, some selfless motivation. I hope the I hope the sound picks up on all that lovely scraping. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mute that, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> How much are we supposed to put in here? About an inch to an inch and a half. No, you weasel. Are you calling me a weasel or her a weasel? Her. I I properly set those skulls up to look real cute. Well, it's, they serve their purpose. Make sure you evenly spread out your gravel. Yes, evenly spread out your gravel so it's an inch and a half at the bottom. <laughs> so the next step is going to be to spread our charcoal layer over the top of our gravel. So the reason we're doing this, no girl, <laughs> is because charcoal helps to eliminate any bacteria or impurities that may occur in your terrarium. That's right. And does this have to be a whole layer on top or like does that have to cover up all the gravel or? As long as you get a good amount. It doesn't have to cover like you don't have to have an, an entire layer of thick covering it. But as long as you get it in there, spread around. Okay. Well, I'm glad you didn't drop your soil that I pre-mixed. Me too. Uh, that would have been worse. <laughs> that would have been worse. <laughs> all right. So our next step is just going to be to add this very airy soil that I pre-made. That's very so, light. Yes. <laughs> so this is basically just coir, some orchid bark, perlite, and some stellite. Just extra airy, particularly for the plants that we're going to be putting in our terrarium. Right. Now I want to have some room, like, for my sand. Hey, dear terrarium. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll do it myself. Want. Yeah, are you hiding it from me? No, no. Yeah. How deep does this have to be? As deep as you want it. Well, how deep does the plants need it to be? As deep as they need it. <laughs> <laughs> I just mixed a bunch of soil. I feel like we need a good layer for them to grow. I would imagine. Other than that, free crawl. Sounds fair. I'm no expert. This is my first terrarium. <laughs> I'm just used to you knowing everything there is to know about plants. Wow. That's a compliment. Is it? That it feels is. like a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure, but you're so knowledgeable. All right. Now I'm going to also add some some sand from the Atlantic Ocean yeah, into the bottom. Yeah, it's part of his uh, ruins. It's part thing. of my ruins theme, so you'll see how that works at the end. And he's still walking around in her dress. She is. She's not real happy about the dress. She's just sitting there, though. Oh, she's tripping. Yeah, she's doing that walk the cats do when they've got something creepy on them. <laughs> Should we stop and help? Nah, she good. Look at her, she's sleeping. Is she? Oh yeah, she's the kind of thing. She's fine. Mm, she's a happy girl now. So I thought I mixed too much soil, and I'm glad I mixed as much as I did. Me too. Look at yours, looking so fancy. Like it's supposed to look good or something. 
So who's going to decide the winner? I mean, who's going to, you know, it's obviously going to be me, but I'm just wondering. Uh-huh. So at the end of this video, when you're done watching, because you need all the facts, <laughs> you can vote in the comments either the ruins over here or Death right. Valley. But it's Halloween, so I mean, Death Valley is automatically going to win just because... Oh, okay. So you're saying you cheated? Is that what you're saying? No, I think That's what I'm hearing. You think you're so cute. <gasps> With your little great ideas. You don't even know. Like, he was so excited to do this. And he had this master plan. That yeah. was done already. <laughs> Get out of here. He lost. He's, not, <laughs> he's disqualified. All right. So the next step, we're just going to quickly introduce our kind of personal items we're putting in our terrariums. Over here, I basically have two petonias that I'm gonna be using. I have a jewel orchid, my begonia pavonina, which is what inspired this terrarium building. I have this little faux cat skull and these little candles. And additionally, I have my little skull cave mountain, which I'm really excited to into my death valley yes because my stuff looks awesome don't it you agree? does look awesome it does <laughs> can't wait to see it all together so i have a um a little um i guess um ruins ruins that you would put in a fish tank i have this uh plant right here that looks like a tree like a little tiny tree it's really cool it's uh, a, a dwarf snow bush and it has um a more complicated name that I'm sure no plants me out with. Uh... I don't know what this is. It says something about <laughs> Nana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I have another plant that looks like a tree. It's a dwarf ivy. It's also called a duck foot, apparently. Duck foot. Duck foot. You got some weird stuff. And here we have a variegated artillery plant. Oh, it's a pilea. Yes, a pilea. Uh, it's a microphilia variegata. variegata. <laughs> All right, that's why I don't have a plant show. Uh, <laughs> and then I have this jewel orchid. Yep, you got two of them. And I have two of them in here. It's uh, they're very very cool. They look like they're uh, like full of electric. It's very neat looking. <laughs> and then I have a little um, a little container of blue little rocks so that that'll make up my ocean that I'm going to have here at the border. Where's your sand from? It's uh, not any store-bought sand, it's a special kind of sand. Yes, it's sand from the Atlantic Ocean that I, I got together on a trip we took, which wasn't very far because we're not that far from the Atlantic Ocean, but still. <laughs> uh, I like to put them in a, in a, like in a wine glass or a wine bottle with some ocean water. But uh, I had some left over, so it made sense to use for this. You ready? This is the part where you prove your worth. <laughs> well, that's not intimidating at all. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take this glove off because I don't want to ruin it. You got your little hand. You can scoop with. You wanted a scoop with. Uh, I think, I think if one of us needs a hand, it's probably you. Oh, ha ha, har, har, har. <laughs> uh -huh. So you're putting your your item in first. I want to put my plants in first. I don't sass me, girl. Be kind. Be kind. Rewind. Oh my God. No, I was just thinking about that. <laughs> it's because we saw it in American Horror Story yesterday. <laughs> How do you break this up? Like, just um, you just squeeze it on the sides and then just pull it. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Squeeze more. <laughs> if it really is like root bound, we can cut it. This oh. Um, Oh, it looks so cool. So is there any reason that you would not want to use the soil that comes with it? Well, the soil that can come with these plants can be usually very heavy. And in our terrariums, we want to put them in like ideally like airy soil because uh, okay. there's yeah. no drainage hole. Yeah. Oh, my pavonina has a new leaf. You're so lucky when it comes to that kind of thing. Hmm. I've had this begonia for like over a month now, and I've been so worried it was gonna die outside of a terrarium. So I'm trying to figure out, this begonia is actually pretty big. That is pretty big. Do I want it like, no. Har har, I didn't plan this out. Why? 
because I don't know how I want my begonia. Oh. It's gonna look beautiful. Aww. Gonna leave you to the side. She's my star, so she has to go in though. So we may not use all the items here, but they're here just in case. <laughs> yeah, we definitely won't. I don't know how theme videos do on uh, on YouTube. <laughs> I like them. So I wanted to actually put my Fetonia coming out of this cave. That's a good idea. So it looks... I love the red colors. It's actually a nickname is a nerve plant. A nerve plant? Yeah. Interesting. Is that because it gets on your nerves? Because it looks like nerves when you look at it. Yeah, it does. Gosh. Gosh. Oh, is that a joke? You have a bad corny joke. Oh, okay. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for kidding. <laughs> all right, so I have basically put all of my trees on the perimeter here. Hopefully that is going to be okay for, for their well-being. But I guess it'll maybe trap some moisture in with them, so that'll be good. But I've got all my plants in. Already. So I'm pretty happy about that. Already. I'm getting hot. So he's an overachiever, which is uh, established by, he's already done putting his plants in. But, you know, I like mine a certain way, so I just want to make sure they're You're more perfect. particular. I'm That's particular. I'm, I'm pretty particular. Come on over to look. Look at the competition. Looks so good. <laughs> <clears throat> You're worried about what? Not be able to fit her, and she's literally like the reason I wanted to do this. Now I got her. I can do this. Oh, I have more soil. I need more soil too. Yeah, I don't think I'll need any more. Do you water these or no? Yeah, you have to water them. You don't water them heavily, but you, you know, I would go up to the particular plants and just kind of like drizzle water in. Oh, okay. And then like wait. Um, it depends on the terrarium because it depends on your humidity level. Like sometimes you can wait a week, more than a week. It could be a while. I guess they can kind of look around and kind of yeah. gauge the just gauge if they look dry or right whatnot. Let's take a little close. And let's bring it back a little. It's nice dealing with such small plants too because you can move things around. It's not like you know if you plant a real tree somewhere, yeah, you better like it there and it'd be hassling it. I have some cat fur on here because I was playing with Nina. That's always fun. <laughs> so I kind of like this. That tree is kind of overwhelming things, but it's fine. I should have put something more over here. I think I'm going to take that. Maybe I'll take you. Hey, Fudge. So yeah, that, this tree was kind of overwhelming my ruins, so I'm going to move it over here and hopefully it will be okay. I don't think I've ever worked with like this kind of soil, but I like how airy it is. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's probably super common to you and your, your fam. Uh-huh. Pat, 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 pat this down again. Taking some of the bigger stones out of here so that I can see about placing them more strategically later. And I completely forgot about the moss, but <laughs> I asked me I was kind enough to mention moss and I remember it now. So I'm going to try to put some in the back and make it look more, more grassy in the back. Brassy. Yeah. I just dropped some. Oops. Just a little bit, but it's fine. Oh no. It just occurred to me. I will leave more soil here. So if it's flat against the uh, where the ocean is, the ocean can be higher than the ground. That's not how that works. <laughs> mm, this color's not bright. Okay, so back to the moss. 
So do you know if there's any benefits to having moss in the terrarium? So it usually helps to kind of keep moisture in. So for these plants, they are moisture loving plants. So anything that helps with that is usually great. So, <laughs> and actually you can go without watering your terrariums longer if you have moss that's in there, just kind of keeping more moisture in. That makes sense. Yeah, because I was feeling and I was like, it's very spongy. I'll bet that kind of, I was thinking like it kind of helps with that. Mm -hmm. It probably does. Anyway. I just don't want to go crazy because I think it might hurt the look I'm going forward. Yeah. So you're obviously going for the more spooky look, pandering <laughs> to the uh, Halloween theme. So I've always wanted to do this scary terrarium, but Halloween is my justification, so I have oh, an excuse. I see. It was going to happen whether it was Halloween or not, because I, I want a scary terrarium that looks like someone died in it. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's a good goal to have. <laughs> Not at all scary. Glad a real person hasn't died there. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Yes. So I'm going to put mine in. I think that looks pretty good. I've always wanted like a bonsai tree or to grow bonsai trees. So this feels like a good outlet for that kind of Oh interest. yeah, because they're definitely little bonsais. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah, you get to make your own little world and it's kind of neat. All right. So I need... Put in my ocean. Very excited about this. Hopefully, it looks <laughs> as good as I feel like it would. I really like the uh, the reflective listening in here. Yeah. Very cool. I really feel like it's basically exactly what I was hoping it would be. Aww. It does look really good. Yeah, we just happened upon this. I had a whole different idea, and then we went to Michael's for supplies, and I saw the the blue rock. I was like, "Oh my god, a whole new idea!" It's nice to have little creative outlets like this too. Yeah, definitely. You're so ahead of me. I'm not really ahead of you. You really are, though. Like, I don't even know how to work this begonia in. I don't know if I can. Well. People work at their own pace too, so I kind of had a good idea of things. That's a good idea. What? Why don't you do that? Have it like, like bend down so it's laying down. Well, I mean, like I had it, but like what? Yeah, but then it'll grow up from there. And you can put moss over the top of it. That way, it's not going to get too. It's not going to rot in the soil. Doesn't it look weird there, though. I don't think so. I had it already buried in this exact same spot, and then I unburied. It. <laughs> well, I think that's a great idea, though. Aw, thank you. You're welcome. There's really no reason not to use all of these rocks. Do you need blue rocks by any chance? No. Okay. I didn't think so. That looks so cool. I'm very excited at this. Or with this. Aw. Very excited. I'm very happy about this. <laughs> so my original idea was going to be to have like a little truck and and try to make like a farm or something, and then maybe like a murder scene to make the Halloween <laughs> theme, but but I like this. Yeah, I like that a lot. I only have one more step, so I was thinking about just waiting for you. Oh, you're so kind. You can keep going and then entertain them with Halloween facts. I don't really have a lot of Halloween facts. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking up Delaware facts earlier today because um, I don't know how that came up, but we live in Delaware. And um, apparently Batman versus Superman was supposed to have taken place in Delaware. Which I just <laughs> thought was kind of weird. So now I'm jumping ahead of myself and putting the sand in here. I was going to stop, but I can't stop myself. <laughs> Very excited about it. Aww. So we've got the sand on the seashore. I'm very, very right-handed, so I feel like I'm going to make a mistake. I like this, too, because you can just kind of imagine how people would live in this little space. I mean, if it wasn't ruins, if it was, like, you know, still... Yeah. It's definitely neat. Yeah. Maybe if you were to visit the ruins, you know. Now, of course, for Halloween purposes, the ruins have ghosts that'll kill you if you visit. But <laughs> most of the time, they're nice and friendly ghosts. So that's pretty much all that I have for mine. 
You're not going to use any other pieces of wood. <gasps> I forgot about the pieces of wood. I feel like this would be a giant piece of wood in this world. But yeah, I actually like it there. I'm Yours looks to, so good. I'm glad you Thank you, my dear. Nina still has her dress on. You gotta go get her. I'm gonna go get her. I'm gonna try to make it so she can't destroy anything on her way out if she wants to leave again. So I have this little shell that kind of looks like a shell. And then this little shell that looks a lot like a big shell. Ah, it's upside down. Here she is. She should be the judge. Ha, so funny. Well, yours has a cat skull in it. I would imagine that that's probably not going to win you over for her. That's rude. Well, if you were her, would you? Feel, <laughs> how would you feel about a life-size human skull if you were her? I'm the prince now. Why wouldn't I have a cat skull? That's true. That's perfect for you. I like yours. It already looks spooky. Even from the, I'm not even like looking at the right side of it. It looks spooky. Good. <laughs> Yours looks more like it's meant to have plants, and mine looks like it's just an excuse to have a, like a, a display. Stop. <laughs> oh, I should turn mine around so that everyone can actually see it. This girl is just laying on everything. Can you see it that way? I don't know. So here is mine, if you can see it. I'm afraid of having Nina there because she'll just destroy it at some point, but I'm pretty proud of mine now. Mm -hmm. Whether or not it wins. Oh, I'm proud of you too. Girl, you're laying on all the props. Oops. Let me try to get her over. She's going to cry. No, I'm surprised she didn't. No complaints. She's a good girl. Props to whoever made this, uh, this Froman's thingamajig. Um, what is it? Like a sculpture thing? Oh, the aquarium thing? Yeah. <laughs> she's a purrin. She is. She's a happy girl. Why am I allowed on the countertop? She's thinking. Right? <laughs> this was such a good idea. I'm so glad that you thought of it. Aww. Nina, what's doing? All right, so we have officially completed our terrariums. We have. That was... Yeah, that was like, it's harder when you don't have a plan. He had a plan, so he knew exactly what he was doing. I had like a sort of semi-plan. Like I knew I wanted Death Valley and kind of like a ritualistic look, but I didn't know how I was going to arrange everything. Yeah. But Yours, I think, was more like an inspiration. So. Yeah. I like my kind of like jungleistic vibe and ritualistic look to it too. Like I'm glad how mine came out. His is... It's gonna, it's prettier, guys. So if you go for it, like, I'm not gonna be mad. It's in the eye of the beholder. I don't think that anybody. Yeah. I mean, I love his. Oh. It's a little basic. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. It, it, it is so actually basic. It is. Like, no. the plant section. Oh, so my plant section is like one third of my total terrarium. Yours was so smart. His was so smart. Don't play. No, I'm satisfied with it. I'm very happy with it. But right? yours is like more of a true terrarium. The plant aspect of it is really the whole thing. Mine is more of just a, a model of something that has a terrarium involved. But I do really like it. So <laughs> it really depends on who, you know, what your style is, what you, what you're into. And yeah. So, yeah, I know this is definitely like it suits his personality well, and this one just suits my personality well. Like, yeah. it's just how they came out. Like, they're perfect for us. So, right. that's the nice thing. Exactly. Like, I'm glad your vision came true. Thank you. <laughs> and I, I do like yours. I wish that you were more satisfied with it. I'm more satisfied now that I moved this begonia leaf to the side because over the skull's face, like, even that, I don't mind, but like, it was too much on this side before. Yeah. But now I'm okay. <laughs> it looks good though. Yeah. Those blue stones were such a good idea. Like, I love those. Yeah, I, <laughs> I do too. I like the, um, especially now that winter's coming, it's nice to see the winter's coming. <laughs> the, um, 
Because he's, he's Winter Soldier, too. Right? Oh, yeah, like, and I'm Winter Soldier, by the way. Like, we didn't mention that, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know if you got the hint from, like, yeah, the, the arm, arm and his little... And like, yeah. And he really should be the next Captain America, so I'm wearing the yeah, shirt. Yeah, he's repping Cap, so... Yep. And but, he's also you know, Cap's fanboy, right? So, I mean... I, I really like Iron Man more, but, <laughs> uh, you know... Highland Winter Soldier is. <laughs> oh, Winter, Sol Winter Soldier is Cap's fanboy. That is true. He is like his little puppy dog. I like the look of how mine is because I really like winter, or rather spring and summer, and I don't like winter very much. So this has a real summery kind of Mediterranean-ish feel for me. And yeah, I really appreciate like you're that. always going to love looking at this. Yes. And me, like, I'm a huge horror buff, she so really I'm just going to be obsessed with being like, oh, look, look at this cute little morbid little scene I can stare at all day. Yes. When I first met her, I saw, like, a Hellraiser poster or doll or something, and it was just like, wow, like, just, it just kind of shocked me, like, the first time I came over to her house, and <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> we hadn't talked about it, but it was really cool. <laughs> so, because I, I grew up watching, uh, like, horror movies and Nightmare on Elm Street, that kind of thing, too. So, I definitely have an appreciation for horror, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is The Ruins. It's pretty self-explanatory. I've got the, uh, the Ruins itself right in here. And um, I placed all the plants around it and in the back, mostly to the sides. But it looks like there's some room for growth in the back, so I put one of the... Um, one of the plants back there. I forget what it's called now. Um, jewel orchid. The jewel orchid <laughs> back there. And then these plants right here, there's some room for growth too, so they can kind of come in if they need to. And then I made, I put some, um, some sand here for the seashore and added some shells and this, uh, this uh, piece of wood, the driftwood, to add some authenticity to that. And then we have the blue stones that make up the sea. That looks like a real like shoreline. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So pretty. Oh, and then on the uh, on the left side, oh, the the um, yeah, the back on the right side there. So it's the right side now. There's a a little gold mine. Gold mine. I can't pronounce anything properly today. I don't know what's going on. Oh, is that a hair? A hair? Oh, here. Oh, yeah. A little gold mine. <laughs> a little through. That's cool. It's just hidden in the wilderness. <laughs> yep. That's so legit. All right, so for the final product in my Death Valley terrarium, I decided the begonia really was taking up too much room, so I did remove that, and I added a, another kind of jewel orchid in here that I already had. So you can look around. You see my deadly-looking cave with its moss around it. My photonia is just growing out of the cave. I love this red one. It just looks so sinister, just growing out of there. And what's it called again? What's the nickname? It's Nerve Plant. <laughs> yeah. So that just sounds dangerous too. Yeah, it definitely does. And the red moss behind it like just really accents it. It's just so nice. Mm -hmm. Then I have this one over here sitting on some black moss. And I added some lava rock in there, if you can see at the bottom. So it looks very jungle-esque in here. There's my jewel orchid. So pretty. And then I did decide to dirty up the cat skull because it looked a little too clean. <laughs> so now it looks like it's been there for some time. It does. And we've got some skulls hidden in the white moss, so it blends really well. My little sacrificial area in the back. So it kind of looks like from the front of the mountain, it just looks like this jungle-esque looking thing. And then as you progress to the back of the mountain, it gets more sinister. You can tell like this flowing red moss just leads right into this little ritual sacrifice area. And the more you look down, the more toward the back, you can just see skulls piling up. And I love that. <laughs> yeah. 
And I don't know if we talked about it earlier, but you, if you look at the candles, you see how they there's like a little reflective orange part that makes it look like they're still lit or like they were just blown out, which is really cool. Yeah, I love those candles. Yeah, so it adds to that like ominous feel. Yeah, I would have been sad nice. if I couldn't incorporate them in. I just absolutely yeah, love, I love those. that part. <laughs> uh, this just looks so cool and real. Like yeah, and I think the changes that you made definitely make it more yeah open and um, and add to its to its yes. realism. Just got all this moss growing behind our mountain. Oh, the skull looks so sad. <laughs> oh, that is a sad skull. It's like, I want to be in front. Right. And then as I was spraying in here and just misting, I noticed that some of the moss, kind of the dye came off from it. So it just kind of looks like blood pooling around the red moss, which I think I love that. It does. That is really cool. <laughs> just very neat. Yeah. I like them both a lot. I'm very interested in who will win. We're both winners. <laughs> okay. Oh my both god. Both winners. I'm so like, in love with my mountain. You've gotten very corny. I'm just letting you know. Excuse you? <laughs> <laughs> We're both winners. Uh huh. <laughs> very corny. I know. You've been making jokes all day. I have. I've just been like, oh, no. Are, it's so sad. Do you think you're going to win? Now I feel like I'm going to get too cocky and people are going to like vote against me just because of that. Yeah, she has a way of getting very, very, very cocky about things and trying to rub it in my nose and basically celebrating her victory just a little too early. <laughs> and it just makes it so much more satisfying when I do win. But... You know, when she's right, it's it's still a little bit depressing. So I'd like to win. It's so cool. There's just it just looks like there's so much texture in there. Like it looks like this could be a real place, it right? Does. Not the one I'd like to visit, but right. It doesn't look like a very <laughs> safe place to go. Love it. Now mine, I think, would be an awesome place to visit. Yeah, so, yours would be. Yeah. Look at this tropical little. Island. Moving yeah, on from my paradise Death Valley here. over here, all the way to the beautiful ruins. Yes. Oh God. Look at that. So pretty. That the sparkles in the light. You see that? God. I do like it's that. Ridiculous. So much reflection. Yeah, I like how you showcase your plants. I am kind of looking forward to this plant over here, the jewel orchid, kind of growing more and taking up a little bit more space. Yeah. So I, I like that I have the room for uh, a little bit of growth. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to kind of see, like, how these grow. Like, that'll be cool because I would love this petunia to get so much bigger on this side. Yeah, that would be cool. Like, that's cool. Like, this one's already a decent size. That is. But... You have to trim that down. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind it, like, crawling up here and that then would be cool. a bit down. But then I might have to do something with that. But I don't know. I'm excited. Yeah. And I think that's part of what's fun about maintaining Charium is that you can kind of see how it develops on its own and kind of manage its its appearance. Yeah. They just both look so good. Well, we really hope you did enjoy this video. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Hopefully uh, you kind of maybe learned along with us and yeah. maybe you got some ideas of your own. I think it would be fun to see ideas that might have gotten inspired too. Yeah, and it's definitely fun to do. Like it's really neat to kind of just put it together it's not hard to put together at all yeah. like i definitely encourage you if you want to build a terrarium go ahead and do it because this is pretty neat like i i quite enjoyed this and i'm enjoying my little jungle scene here yeah yeah i, I like mine too it just it makes me happy to look at it so <laughs> i enjoy them so uh so yeah so that's uh see who you think Sorry, is the winner you. that's all right just poke me in the eye <laughs> So our 
are the uh, the viewers going to basically show us who won? Is that how it's going to be? Yes. So comment below which one you like best. I won't be hurt if there's like an overflow of the ruins. That's well, fine. That's well, the fine. thing is, the, your viewers are plant people, and you have like more of a plant. You have feel plenty to yours. of plants. Shush. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five plants. I have one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Well, we really hope yes, you enjoyed it. <laughs> yep. And if you liked it, please give it a like. Any feedback, please comment down below. And also comment who you think won this little terrarium war. So, <laughs> and if you want to see more content, please subscribe. We do put out a video every Wednesday. Thank yep. you for watching. Thank you. <laughs> happy Halloween. Yes, happy Halloween.